everywhere. People trash capitalism. No system has redistributed wealth from the poor to the rich as effectively as our own. I call it slavery by another name. But what they think they know about capitalism is often wrong. In this video and the next, we'll bust seven myths about capitalism. No one ever makes a billion dollars. You take a billion dollars. That's myth one. Capitalists get rich by taking money from others. Jeff Bezos has what, a hundred billion dollars? Yeah, his wealth is making a lot of people poor. People assume that because they think... We have a finite amount of money. A finite amount. So when they win, you lose. But that's not true. Because entrepreneurs create new wealth. Research shows that when they got rich... They only kept 2.2% of the additional wealth they generated for the economy. Economist Dan Mitchell. In other words, the rest of us captured almost 98% of the benefits. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Yes, Steve Jobs kept billions. But by creating Apple, he gave us more. So many new jobs. And he added billions to our economy all by creating tech that makes our lives better. I hope that we get a hundred new super billionaires because that means that there's a hundred new people who have figured out ways to make the rest of our lives better off. Let's abolish billionaires. This former labor secretary says, Entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos would be just as motivated by say, a hundred million or even $50 million. Ooh. But he misses the most important fact about capitalism. I'm not giving Jeff Bezos any money unless he's selling me something that I value more than that money. Billionaires. No one deserves to have that much money. None of these zillionaires needs that much money. If you put a cap on how much money someone can make, are they gonna continue innovating? No, maybe you just decide to take it easy. You retire. You sell a yacht around the world. You're gonna start consuming instead of saving and producing. When I say things like that, people call me a complete moron and tweet more money in the richest hands means money sitting in the bank doing nothing. But that's an ignorant view of banks. In reality, that money gets lent out. Which allows other people to build businesses, buy homes, get educated. New machinery, tools, factories, equipment, technology. Still, we hear... The rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. That's myth too. The truth is that the poor and middle class are getting richer too. The economic pie grows. We are much richer than our grandparents and our grandparents were much richer than their grandparents. For thousands of years, the world had almost no wealth creation. Then some countries tried capitalism. You can see that per capita GDP is climbing and climbing and climbing. Capitalists helped everyone, including the poor. They do by bringing cheaper and better food to my supermarket. They do it by providing better goods and services. So high tech, it could only come from Motorola. Look how communications changed. 25 years ago, phones looked like this. Then we got the Blackberry, the iPhone. Way smarter than any mobile device has ever been. Now we have cheap smartphones. When the media say, The middle class is in decline. America's middle class is in decline. Well, they're right. But they miss why. It's shrinking because more and more people are moving into those upper income quintiles. The rich get richer in a capitalist society, but guess what? The rest of us get richer as well. The average family today is almost a third richer than 40 years ago because capitalists compete to get our dollars. Of course, this assumes there's competition. But I'm told that's no longer true. In fact, I'm a miserable, selfish pig for not saying that monopolies destroyed the free market. Some Republicans and Democrats say that's why tech companies must be broken up. Calling Facebook, Amazon, and Apple all monopolies. But are they really monopolies? We do have monopolies. The government school system, the postal service, Monopolies are almost always a creation of government intervention. Blocking competition, for example. Keeping your phone system the best in the world. Government granted Ma Bell a monopoly on phone calls. And in 30 years, their phones went from this to, well, just this. Always improving. That's the Bell system for you. A short phone call costs $17. Ma Bell got away with that 
because government banned competition. In a free market economy, it's impossible to have a monopoly because if somebody manages to get a lot of market share and they try to raise prices, new competitors are going to spring up and they're going to draw away the customers. That happened to Blockbuster. It charged late fees. Netflix promised no late fees. Blockbuster soon went out of business. But people say today's tech companies are uniquely powerful. No one can compete with them. I use DuckDuckGo as my search engine. I don't use Google. But guess what? Even if I used Google and Facebook for 10 hours a day, no one's holding a gun to my head. They're, they're obviously providing something of value. Heck, they're providing free search engines, free social media. Just 14 years ago, people called MySpace a monopoly. Then Facebook proved them wrong. Our government once called U.S. Steel, Pan Am, IBM, Internet Explorer, and Kodak monopolies. That's something to consider next time you hear... Big tech are the robber barons of the 21st century. Robber barons like Rockefeller and Vanderbilt. But what we think about them is mostly a myth, too. In my next video, four other myths about capitalism. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get the next one.